Welcome back to Smart Money Monday. Today we're talking about retirement, your retirement, and how an individual retirement account, or IRA, can help. And here to share their knowledge of IRAs is Chris Otto from Banco Investment Services. Aloha, Chris. Hello, Steve. Let's start real basic. What is an IRA? An IRA, as you mentioned, is an individual retirement account that really provides tax benefits or incentives for people saving for retirement. But unlike a 401k plan, you don't need an employer to sponsor your IRA. You can open an IRA account on your own. For example, if you're a gig employee or a gig, gig worker or self-employed, um, all you need is taxable compensation. Why should people put money in an IRA? You know, it's all about paying yourself first. And the reality is, you know, a lot of people don't think about paying themselves first and setting aside money for their, their retirement down the road. So at the same time, if you think about it, we may have, some people may need as much as 80% of their pre-retirement income just to maintain their same standard of living in retirement. What that means is, for most people, Social Security is not going to be enough, quite honestly, uh, especially in a state like Hawaii, where co high cost of living. So are there tax advantages? Yes, definitely. And you know, the government wants us to save for retirement, which is good news. So they create these special tax incentives. For example, there's a traditional IRA, which generally speaking, if you put money into a traditional IRA, that money you contribute is tax deductible upfront. There's also another option called a Roth IRA. You don't get any tax deduction up front, but the money you put in there potentially can be withdrawn tax-free in retirement. Uh, how is the money in an IRA invested? Great question. It's really each individual's call, right? So if you're a conservative investor, again, this is your money that you put away. You might want to put your money in a bank CD or let's say treasury, treasury bills or bonds and whatnot. But if you're more aggressive, you can invest in individual stocks, mutual funds, ETFs. It really boils down to each person's individual individual risk tolerance as well as their preference. How do you open one? Surprisingly, it's really easy, and, and that's a good thing, right? And so a good place to start is probably your bank or credit union, some place that you already work with. Um, but you can go online. You can open up uh, IRA accounts online or different brokerage houses. Um, my suggestion, though, is to start with a company that you already trust because the reality is if you put money into this over time, it's probably going to be your largest nest egg. Okay, how about, how about how much you contribute each year? You know, for um, tax year 2023, the amount has actually gone up by $500. So the new amount is $6,500 you can put in an IRA. Um, that actually, if you're over the age of 50, you can put an extra $1,000. So that's $7,500 for people over 50, you can contribute into an IRA. I think it's important to remember though, the key to saving for retirement, a successful retirement and an early retirement is, be sure to pay yourself first. Start early and be consistent. When you're ready to retire, you're gonna be thankful that you did. Yes, whenever that actually happens. Thanks, Chris. Always a pleasure, Steve. All right, and thank you for watching Smart Money Money.